Hello, my name is Nancy Antonucci, or I go by the name Nooch. Welcome. I uh, wrote a book a while ago called Psychic Tarot, How to Use Your Natural Abilities to Read the Cards. This is my little book. And it was really based on 30 years of teaching um, and putting together ideas for people that they could study on at their own pace. And I have a new book coming out in January, which will be about tarot rituals. And I'm really excited about that. That that I didn't teach all of those things. Those were a lot of things that I did myself to experiment with tarot and explore tarot because I love tarot. Tarot is an image of a language of imagery. And it just just keeps opening up doorways for me in my inner landscape, my outer landscape. And I feel like we've had such a new reset with the world and rhythms that I think this is a, just a, an incredible time to use tarot as either a tool or a muse or a net, however, however you see that, to become more creative, to think outside the box, to really make huge decisions about your life uh, from love instead of fear. So it's, I'm excited. I don't know where we're going, but you know, we're all going there together, hopefully. And, and I'm excited for this. So, excuse me, I'm drinking my, I'm going to caffeinate properly here. The one thing that I, the feedback that I got about Psychic Tarot that kind of percolated quite a bit was I really love the book, but I haven't done the exercises. <laughs> and it's like, it's mostly exercises. So it's like, well, maybe I could help people out there a little bit with that. So we'll do one of the exercises tonight. So what you'll need is a journal uh, or a piece of paper. Uh, you're gonna be writing down, I, yeah, just so you have enough paper that you can write at least one eighth by 11 and a half, both sides probably and a pen or pencil. And then we're ready to start. So a lot of times uh, when it comes to uh, deciphering dreams, and the, the reason I'm bringing in dreams is because sometimes a tarot reading feels like a dream. It's you're in a very altered reality. You're really understanding what's going on or maybe not. You definitely are having feelings about it. And it's not, it doesn't always make sense sequentially. Um, so it's, it's kind of a, it can be a very surrealistic story to go into. And one of the ways that I've heard of deciphering a dream, which I absolutely love, is when you wake up to, first of all, write down how the dream made you feel. That, that's kind of essential, just how, how do I feel? How did I feel during that? no matter what was going on. Did I feel happy, excited, scared, mad, sad, bad, or glad? Um, and then write down major points in the dream. So let's just say I you know, dreamt of going into a movie theater and there were many dogs there and all the dogs have blue fezes on. So you'd write movie theater, dogs, fezes, you know, and then you know, after you write down kind of the, what you can remember actually happening in the dream, you write down the first thing that comes to your mind in the second column to any of that. So maybe movie theater would be escape, uh, dogs, uh, friend, uh, fezes, uh, steely Dan. So whatever, you can tell what age I am, um, just, correlate just let it let it uh it's really kind of a thought or feeling association and then you just put it down and don't think about it the rest of the day later in the evening then just read the second column of you know the thoughts that you know your associations to the things that happened in the dream and you might see a message that kind of starts to link itself together. This is very much like laying tarot cards. It's 
what's my association of the card? And then what is the message that's coming from the association? Although when I'm reading for others, it's what, what, are, what is their association? How do these cards, how might this story relate to their life? So basically we're just gonna do a word association game. So here's what you're gonna do though. I'm going to give kind of a sentence or a, basically a noun and a verb. And I want you to just be completely honest. Don't censor, don't be rational, don't clean it up. You're not gonna have to share this with any of the other students in the classroom. So, you know, just be honest with yourself and really go with some of the first things that come in. So don't think too hard about this either. Okay, so you ready? Pencils. All right. And I would say make some space in between. Um, so I'm gonna have you finish a sentence for me and then just leave you know, at least a couple lines where you can write after that because we're gonna add to this afterwards. So, all right, so let's begin. So, I wish I was heading towards, I wish I was heading towards, I am becoming I am becoming I secretly know that I secretly know that I desire I desire I'm thinking pretty clearly about I am thinking pretty clearly about I believe in I believe in I am in love with I am in love with I am driven by, I am driven by, my biggest challenge these days are My biggest challenge these days are or is my inner voice tells me to my inner voice tells me to Lately, I describe the circumstances in my life as
Lately, I describe the circumstances in my life as <clears throat> truthfully, I would like to say that truthfully, I would like to say that I see my life very differently since I see my life very differently since I am done with I am done with I'm being guided to I'm being guided to My greatest fear is becoming My greatest fear is becoming I seriously need to change I seriously need to change. I accept. I accept. A dream holding my deepest desire or desires is a dream holding my deepest desire is I'll give you a little more time with this one. This one's hard just to do in a sentence. We're almost done, just a couple more, three more. I am open to, I am open to, I am reawakening to, I'm reawakening to my destiny is my destiny is Okay. So we just kind of went through, and you might have, some of you might have really caught on to what was going on, but if you didn't, that's that's even better, I think. Um, what we did was just kind of go through the back door to the major arcana of the tarot, of the, the 22 natural forces in our lives. And 
in the book and with my students, I was trying to find a way to find out where they are currently with that major arcana. You know, so you can really tell from some of your answers uh, that that major arcana might be really helpful to look at or to start. So I'll, I'll go through the list now and tell you the major arcana. So, or you can jot that down if you want, uh, but especially for the answers that really surprised you or just kind of came flying out from nowhere uh, or even bothered you. It's like, I don't, I didn't want to, that to be the answer. So those are all incredible cues for you in terms of the insights that you need to pay attention to uh, in terms of just where you are. So if, another way of saying that is the major arcana is also our, us as a composite, you know, the, like the world card is all of the major arcana. The fool is the potential of the major arcana. But as spirits having a human experience, I see the major arcana as all the different forces that we may one way or the other experience and need to experience in some ways. So I wish I was heading towards is the fool. I am becoming a magician. I secretly know that is the Hierophant. Empresses, I desire. Emperor, I'm thinking pretty clearly about. Hierophant, I believe in. Lover, I am in love with. Chariot, I am driven by. Strength, my biggest challenge these days are. My inner voice tells me to, that's the hermit. The wheel of fortune, lately I described the circumstances in my life as Justice, truthfully, I would like to say that. The hanged one, I see my life very differently since. Death, I am done with. Temperance, I am being guided to. Devil, my greatest fear is becoming. Tower. I seriously need to change. Star, I accept. Moon, a dream holding my deepest desire is. Sun, I am open to. Judgment, I am reawakening to. And the last is the world. My destiny is. So I would say, you know, to go like the dream, you know, deciphering the dream um, and what your unconscious might be trying to say to you, what your subconscious, what the outer world, your divine allies, your beloved ancestors, just your own inner wisdom. You know, you might, you know, take some time to look at some of those that you really would love a different answer to, or if there was a puzzle of it, or even fabulous, even a fabulous one. Um, and just kind of meditate with that major arcana card in the, 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 uh, the frame of. So for instance, what if we said, mm, my greatest fear is becoming dot, 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 my mother. <laughs> you know, I think every daughter might answer, not every daughter, but a lot of daughters would answer that one. Um, so you work with the devil. Um, how does the devil, you know, like if I was meditating with the devil and it's like, okay, so I just named a devil. This is a devil I have. And you do realize when you're in fear of anything, it attracts it. It attracts it, it's a real strong magnet. Or like for instance, if you know there's gonna, if you feel like there's gonna be a confrontation with somebody, you pretty much prophesize that right into it. So how can you work 
with your true fear of becoming a you know like your mom is maybe sit down and say well what parts of her really bother me and know that where did she get that from? Where did that woman get it from? Where did that woman come from? So like, take it off your mom's shoulders and, and send it back because she probably didn't come in with that. Three fourths of that. A lot of that was trained. A lot of us are conditioned. So there's, that's one way to deal with the fear of is like maybe understanding or forgiveness or, or really seeing um, how fear really just really stunts us. Um, so that's kind of how you can use these creatively. I, I have an idea that I thought was pretty cool. Um, there's a, a, a kind of an idea that the fool is your spirit in, and its full potential. The magician is your unique code and expression of life. And the high priestess is your eternal wisdom and memory of connection. And then we kind of go through three, three different phases. So this is one way maybe to look at where are you right now? Which major arcana really felt like it either really resonated with you or really didn't, whichever aspect you really need to go into. So birth through adulthood or the worldly sequence is empress, emperor, hierophant, lovers, and chariot. That's the growth of the ego. That is us learning how to just be in this form, how to be on this planet, how to be with others. But then going within and, and learning our own, our true reality is the second line of the major arcana, which is strength, hermit, Wheel of Fortune, Justice, Hanged One, Death, and Temperance. So that's that's the spirit and human kind of uh, dancing together under those major arcanas, those themes that are working with that that group of major arcana is is kind of going within. And then the last line is the great journey or living in wholeness, or, or you might say your authentic being as spirit and, and human, not the training, not the conditioning, not the wounding, not the fear. And that would be the devil starts with, I mean, spiritual maturity really actually does start with the devil. You have to know how, what your fears are, what that conditioning can be, I mean, it's also, it's kind of all, always a default system. I don't think any of us reach pure guru level or very few of us do. Um, the rest of us just have to really figure out how to manage some of the conditioning and the trauma or whatever has happened, you know, to make sure you're not acting out of fear. Tower, star, moon, sun, judgment, and the world. So if you kind of see the fool as the spirit, then the first seven are about being learning how to be on this planet. The second is learning how to go within. And the third is how to integrate and to fully incarnate or fully find your potential. So, so you got a couple clues about where you, where you might be you know, um, or where you would like to be. So I hope this helps. It's just kind of a fun way to like a deciphering a dream. It's just kind of good to know what might be bubbling underneath all of all of this. <laughs> okay, thank you. And I will return with possibly new exercises or stories.